Hi friends, uh, here there is another uh, video from oil and gas training. In this video we are uh, just explaining uh, uh, the crude oil mixture starting from the well reservoir coming to the surface and uh, what are the various uh, process involving in the crude oil, uh, uh, processing of a crude oil and uh, what are the various uh, steps or process involving to processing the gas? So we can uh, see that when through the video to understand the process flow diagram, how the various derivatives are coming from there. Uh, what is NGL, LPG, LNG and uh, what are the various uh, uh, important process uh, involving this. Welcome to our uh, Welcome to this video. Oil and gas operation overview. The crude oil mixture, oil and gas, oil and gas water coming from the uh, subsurface well first uh, uh, introduced to a three phase separator so separator is a uh, pressure vessel separating gas water and oil into three component so this is the first operation uh, working in a uh, oil and gas separation processing plant so if you take the oil route, how the oil is reaching in uh, refinery for uh, developing or uh, making value added product is, uh, so the crude oil is first uh, do the separation, then uh, it is go to desalter. Some of the crude oil may contain uh, salt content. So desalter is a another vessel uh, using some technology to separate uh, uh, salt from the oil uh, to dissolve into wash water. So gas free, water free, salt free crude oil is then fed to introduced to a storage tank for buffer storage or for metering purpose and then to export to another country or refinery for uh, uh, for refining purpose to uh, making value added product like uh, diesel, gasoline, LPG, furnace oil, kerosene, etc. etc. This all uh, separation, desalter, sore tank, pump, compressor, or export refinery option, each of them they are going to study in detail in the coming videos. So, this video is providing only or a general information general overview of the uh, crude oil processing crude oil and uh, gas processing so the water uh, separated from the uh, crude oil mixture is uh, introduced to further oil separation if available then the effluent water is uh, uh, introduced to injection uh, send back to a well injection well through an injection well after some bacterial treatment chemical and bacterial treatment so so water is not wasting and effluent water back to uh, reservoir to maintain the reservoir head coming to the gas so from the separation separated gas uh, sometime it contain some contaminants called hydrogen sulfide or moisture. So in gas processing there are mainly two process one is sweetening process and dehydration process. In sweetening process is mainly removal of hydrogen sulfide from sour gas. So using an absorber and introducing a amine solution aqueous amine solution by the uh, treatment or uh, absorber 
So amine is capable to absorb hydrogen sulfide from the sour gas. So the uh, sweetening process is removal of H2S from sour gas. So, so sweet gas, sweet gas means uh, gas without H2S, hydrogen sulfide, introduced to another glycol treatment plant, it is uh, a dehydration process. In dehydration process, uh, this uh, moisture is uh, removed by, absorbed by glycol and uh, we get a dry gas. So, this is the main uh, gas conditioning process. In that one, sweetening and uh, dehydration process taking place. So, the dry gas, uh, H2S free and moisture free dry gas is available for further process. Sweet and dry gas then going to further gas processing like separating various component of the uh, natural gases like uh, methane C1 plus uh, NGL. NGL is a group of uh, uh, other components called C2, C3, C4 and C5 plus like ethane, propane, butane and uh, uh, pentane plus. So these all components have various applications in the uh, petrochemical industry, power plant uh, like LPG. So, so separation of the components uh, from C1 to C5 is the important process uh, continuing after the gas treatment, gas conditioning process. So here it is uh, dry and sweet gas introduced to NGL recovery plant. NGL means uh, from C2 to C5 plus uh, group of uh, all components, heavy hydrocarbon components called NGL, natural gas liquid. So the first separation is C1. C1 separate from other uh, C2 to C5. So C1 has uh, uh, many applications are there. Some of them, some of, sometime it is uh, uh, this methane is uh, re-injected to the well to increase the pressure of the reservoir to improve the production, crude oil production. Or uh, C1 is the main fuel oil, fuel gas uh, to uh, feed to power plant. So that is another uh, uh, application of uh, C1 or uh, petrochemical industries also C1 is using. So coming to NGL, from NGL they will separate uh, if the quantity of C2 either is more they can separate uh, separately uh, from NGL for fractionation process. C2 has many applications like uh, PVC, ethylene, uh, many plastic industries are using uh, C2. And from that uh, propane and butane, say C3 and C4, that is the main uh, constituents in LPG. LPG is using as a cooking gas in uh, uh, domestic uh, uses or kitchen gas we can call, that is LPG. That is also separated from NGL. Coming to uh, again uh, C1, C1 also can liquefy, C1 uh, can liquefy using a cryogenic process, nowadays it is using as uh, LNG, liquefied natural gases or liquefied natural gas. That is the LNG for the transportation purpose from one country to another. And using as a uh, fuel gas plus uh, CNG, compressed natural gas or PNG, it is a piped natural gas coming to the houses. So these all applications are there for uh, C1. So this will give a general idea of uh, uh, starting from the wellhead to uh, crude oil route and gas route. These are the main application or a main process involved in oil and gas processing. 
look at to this picture as uh, giving uh, composition of uh, ngl lpg and lng coming to here uh, ngl composition ngl is i told you uh, idine propane butane is uh, almost 95 percentage plus some pentane plus is there sometimes this pentane plus is separated and re-injected to the crude oil to improve the uh, api gravity and uh, look to lpg composition mainly it is uh, contained propane and butane around 95 percentage and the lng lng is uh, methane that is c1 around uh, 95 percentage these are the general composition of uh, natural gases thanks for watching uh, uh, my channel oil and gas training kindly review the channel and uh, send uh, comment to comments to improve uh, the content uh, voice clarity pictures etc uh, etc et and uh, kindly subscribe my channel to get uh, coming updates uh, properly and uh, definitely we will update we will uh, introduce uh, more videos on uh, oil and gas training soon Thanks for watching.